Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an experiment comparing two ways of doffing your PPEs or removing your personal protective equipment. So it's very important to find this out because when you're removing your personal protective equipment, the risk of us getting the disease is at its highest. So we have to be very very careful as healthcare professionals when we're removing our personal protective equipment. So I'm going to be showing you two ways of doffing it today and the first one is what the Public Health England is showing us how to do it. Public Health England is showing us one way of doing it but it doesn't really tell us anything about double gloving. So I'm just going to see if double gloving makes a difference between potentially um, contaminating our hands when we don't have a second glove on. Traditionally in our theatres where I work we usually double glove for any cases that we do and at the moment when you're putting on your PPE what we normally do is we put a gown on first and put on two sets of gloves you put your first glove on using the close technique and then you put your second glove on top of it but today I'm going to show you a different way of doing it and we're going to see if it makes a little bit of difference when it comes to potentially contracting the disease um, when we're trying to remove it in a theater environment so first of all, before I carry on, I just want you to know that I'm not trying to prove Public Health England wrong or anything like that. I'm just trying to show us potentially um, a better way of doing things. Obviously, as healthcare professionals, whatever we do is always changing. And if there is a better way of doing it, I think we should try to consider um, looking into it as well. So that's all the purpose that I'm doing here today. That's all I want to do. I just want to see if this um, experiment proves anything or not. So like I said, I'm going to focus mainly on the doffing of your personal protective equipment. I'm not going to do anything about doning your PPE. If you want to find out how to do that properly, the step-by-step -step, um, ways of doing it, then please visit the um, Public Health England website or WHO and all those reliable websites. So okay, so I'm now wearing my um, practice scrub suit and I got my gloves single glove and this is what Public Health England is showing us to do when you're um, this is um, from the Public Health England guidelines that we should wear a gown we should wear um, a glove and unfortunately I don't have a uh, a PPE so I try to improvise with my sense mask so I'm just gonna put this on <laughs> hopefully you don't mind okay can you still hear me <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my hands dirty and then I'm going to do the um, I'm going to do <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put some paint on my hands and spread it <laughs> spread it all over my gloves and my gown and then we're going to try and take it off um, in the way that Public Health England is showing us how to do it so like I said, I'm not trying to prove them wrong, I'm just trying to do this experiment to see if there's a better way of doing it. And um, this is mainly focused on scrub nurses because traditionally, where I work, we always double glove. So I think there might be a different way of doing it. And um, I just want to see if there is any benefit in doing it differently. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put the paint on my hands now and on my gown as well. And then we're going to take it off following the um, the guidelines from Public Health England. So just to let you know, this paint doesn't have to represent only blood when you're scrubbing. It could also represent viruses that can be passed on to you when for example you're collecting a patient in the ward and the patient's coughing or if you're for example assisting in an aerosol generating medical procedure or AGM piece where um, the virus can ride the little droplets that um, is produced um, for example we're intubating a patient when you're doing a general anesthetic so this doesn't have to just mean blood this red paint so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove it remove my PPE using the um, public health guidelines so first you have to remove your glove so 
that's one. And then now I'm going to remove my other glove. Now as you can see I've already got a problem here because now I have to try and touch this part of my, gown, my glove to try and remove this glove. So it's very red painted <laughs> and it's a bit disgusting if it's like real life in it because you're and it's a bit dodgy because as you can see I'm gonna have to put my hand in there and with all this blood or paint all over my gown so I think we can already see the benefit of having two gloves on anyway you can argue that that's okay because in the end of this you will be washing your hands with soap and water anyway but that means that you have to make sure that the doffing area of your department has a sluice next to it so you can wash your hands immediately before you leave the room so that's fine I'm going to remove my gown now and then I'm going to remove my mask so you're only meant to touch the inside of your gown not the outside so as not to contaminate your hand even more and then the video was showing that you're going to be doing this to avoid contact of the front of your gown but I can already feel <laughs> that my hand is getting painted. I don't know if you can see it but there's now paint all over my hand and then you put this straight away in the bin and then I remove my wash my hand and then remove my my mask so I will pretend that I've washed my hand I just want to show you that both my hands are now painted because I wasn't wearing an inner glove so I think we can already see the benefit of having two gloves here um, without even showing to you <laughs> that I'm how, what I'm going to be doing next because this is what it looks like my hand is painted so it could easily be blood, it could easily be um, mucus it could be anything <laughs> but like I said you can argue that you have to wash your hand anyway it's just that you have to remember to wash your hand before you leave the room not leave the room and then wash your hand otherwise the doorknob handle will be dirty so that's one way of doing it I'm going to wash my hand, remove all this paint and we're going to try the other way that I'm going to show you when we are donning our PPE traditionally for example I've already washed my hand and my hands are clean I would normally put my gown first and then keep my hands inside my gown and then do a close technique of putting on both of my gloves but I think because of the situation that we're having at the moment it's quite important that we must have an inner glove under the, gl the gown because then it wouldn't defeat the purpose of us having a gown on um, a glove on once our gown has been removed so I'm going to try that for example I've washed my hands I'm going to put my inner glove first going to put my gown on and I'm going to keep my gloved hand inside my gown still and do a close technique of putting on my outside glove
so now I have an under glove and an outer glove but as you can see I put my under glove under my gown and we'll see if that makes a difference so I'm going to put the paint on my hand and I'm going to take it off and see if I'm gonna have any paint on my in on my hand once I remove all my PPE okay so I'm wearing my PPE I've got two gloves on I've got my mask <laughs> Uh, I've got my gown and I'm going to put paint all over my hand like we did with the first try and then we're going to see if my hands are more protected than before. I'm going to make sure that this paint is all over my glove and my gown to make sure that when I remove everything we will see if there's any difference. So I'm going to put them here because we normally do that in theaters. <laughs> So like I said, this paint doesn't only have to represent blood, it could represent mucus, it could represent everything. Um, there are diseases that are bloodborne, so it's quite important for us not to touch the red paint in this experiment. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remove them. So we're going to follow the same way. We're going to remove our glove first, like normal. We'll take it off. We'll take out the other one, put our finger in there, take it off, we're not too bad, we got a little bit of paint on my inside glove but that's fine because I'm still gloved. So um, in this scenario you can either start clean washing your outside glove if you want to remove your gown, only if you want to. So I'm going to try and remove my gown now. So we're going to do the same way, we're going to put our hand inside of the gown and try to take it off and fold it like so. So my glove is still painted. There is paint all over these gloves, but they are gloves so I can still take them off. So I will take it off like this, pointing it to the bin, making sure I don't splash it on anybody. And I can use my finger to take it off and drop it in the bin. I'm going to wash my hand, take my mask off. There you go. Sorry, I got a lot of spots on my hand, but <laughs> paint, there's no paint, it's just uh, from the previous one, but I think it's safe to say that the second way of doing things is safer, um, in my opinion. So there you go, I've tried the experiment and the second way is better. Like I said, I'm not saying that I'm trying to prove someone wrong, um, this is a very strange situation we're having at the moment, everything is changing every day, and everyone is just trying their best to make sure that we stay safe and I think as healthcare professionals it's important for us to um, to try different things to make sure that we are protecting ourselves to the best of our abilities. Stopping the spread of the disease is the most important thing that we should be doing at the moment and if we have some if we have a different way of doing things then maybe we should try and look into them. So that's all that that's the only purpose of what I'm doing here today, um, that's only the thing that I'm trying to do is to show you that there might be different ways of doing things and maybe it's something that we should be researching about. So what do you think about it? Do you think that this way is better than the other way? Let me know in the comment section below and hopefully I'll see you next week.